This is the log. And this will be the only log for March 2nd, 2011, two days before my mother's birthday, Alterbury Strikes. There is trouble in paradise in the world of being a guerrilla journalist. I'm right here in front of the New, uh, New York State Supreme Court, Queens County, on Sutphin Boulevard. Civil Court's right here. And right now, it's 6 p.m. About 5 o'clock today, there were detectives that had my picture, and that was asking people at the Coliseum Mall on 165th Street and 89th Avenue if they saw me. Why? What have I done? If you're looking for me, I'm homeless. I'm homeless. To the charity and, and the appreciation and affection of a very nice family. I have a place to sleep at night. I leave in the morning. I got to find some place to go. I go to the library. Not hard to find. What have I done wrong? I've exposed some things nobody wants to say. Nobody wants to see this at the wheel of justice. And it says right here, danger invites rescue. The cry of distress and the summon to relief. Benjamin Cardoza said that. Right here, wheel of justice, Supreme Court, Queens County. That's what I'm talking about. Instead of looking for me, why ain't y'all locking up everybody that's to commit the crime? You know why nobody wants to touch the story, not to anybody, not to be a news, anybody. I'm a Haitian. I'm not African American. C'est pas américain comme foutier. Je ne suis pas américain. Je suis français. And I have a little working knowledge of a few other languages. And but these three, I can read and write them. Okay. I'm not good at none of them. But Nobody wants to tell this story because you have a Jewish administration under Michael Bloomberg and his administration covered up a Nazi copycat crime. That's what it is. That's what everybody's afraid to say. That's what I'm saying. You, when somebody embezzles twenty thousand dollars all the wealth from Mrs. Corny Green and then you left her in her apartment with the head with gas stove on and neglected her there for four hours. Hoping she died so this whole thing would go away because there was no, no victim. That's what it is. You have a Jewish mayor whose administration covered up a Nazi copycat crime. I said it and I ain't taking that shit back under the penalty of fucking death. What do you mean you looking for me? Detectives walking around with my damn picture. What kind of cockamamie nonsense is this? Y'all been wanting to get rid of me because y'all don't want the story to get out. It's out. I blasted it all over the freaking internet. And guess what, my adoring friends? I wrote to Mayor Bloomberg the day after I wrote him the letter. <laughs> they seized my Hotmail account. They seized the Hotmail account of Larry Wayne Van all the way in Georgia to keep the story contained. Because I blasted it over at the freaking White House. That you're covering up a congressman, covering up a henchman's news on a, on a, on a federal facility. That touches his freaking seat! The big huge cover up! It's the biggest scandal to hit New York City since Tropico! And I own it and I'm gonna write about it. I don't give a damn what you do. <laughs> give a damn what you do! I got a publisher and damn it, yeah, I got a lawyer. His name is Gary Giuliano, 718. 5441478. Call my lawyer and I'll and, and I'll call him and see what he thinks you want. Because I will have zealous representation in any kind of nonsense you want to do. I wrote to Mayor Bloomberg and I told Mayor Bloomberg, here's the evidence that for you to make sure you go get your money from Tom's. Yep. And then guess what? We can laugh about the fact. I almost cost you $80 million and I ambushed your ass in front of Alan A.M.E. Church. 
at the orders of the Democrats and I can prove it. Here you go. Check the phone log of Rashida and check the phone log of Councilman Comrie's office from Manhattan at 250 Broadway where you don't want to let me in. Here's to you. You mean to tell me the mayor of New York is going to call Marshall Edward? And good guy to bag number 14 to tell him to give me his regards when he came and put me out on June 27th. And you think I would let that stand? You stupid! I'm sorry. I just can't be a good nigga. <laughs> I, I can't graduate to Jim Crow, good nigga. Look at him! <laughs> And the politicians are the freaking cadres of that good nigga school. I said it and I ain't taking it back on the penalty of death. Now you're gonna make me a political a, 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 a political uh 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 what's that uh a political prisoner My second cousin baby died as a political prisoner But I don't know my other cousins know exactly what happened with the CIA who was giving him the money What? My cousin, off of the CIA money, went to Hofstra University and Howard University Medical School off of CIA money. That went to Baby Doc. Baby Doc's wife, Baby Doc's wife is the first cousin of my big sister. <laughs> because she is Mrs. William Trice. Mrs. Nadia Bennett Trice. <laughs> And y'all sent me to VA to get medicated because I was crazy. I'm really, really real. <laughs> and thank you, Ida, for that last book. Three of parts were missing. I only got one part. And I got a video about that, too. Because, you see, uh, 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 th that's the one that got the copies of the deed to them sugar plantations that you sent me to go get medicated because I was crazy. Because no nigga has a, a sugar plantation inheritances in no other country. And they can't be related to dignitaries of another country. We ain't the same. I was born free, were you? Were you born free? You don't know. <laughs> you got a little problem with me teaching your people how to rebel and become peacefully? I told my people they got to doing that. I plan on doing the same. Love you. Bye bye.